Day 29, walks with Cody into Cody. We're back in business. It's a nice day out, nice and cool day again. It's freaking, we're in Fort Wayne, Indiana, where the sun is always shining, the sky is never gray, and it's sunshine all the time. Let's go, baby. In my mind, palace. Anyway, all right, what you got for me, buddy? All righty. I'm learning how to roll my R's, like uh, for Spanish, you know, but I can only do it in like the beginning when I'm like, like making a gun sound like, but I can't keep it going. But not like when you're talking. Yeah, any suggestions on how to keep that going? I can't you know what I'm saying? At all. All right, I'll just learn how to do it. We got Andrewski walking down the street. Look at this guy just walking down the street out of nowhere. He's just walking. That boy's walking. Isn't that nice meditation. Walks with Andy. <laughs> all right, what is. Your favorite childhood memory? Favorite childhood memory? That is an interesting question. I thought so. Favorite childhood memory? Shoot, dude. That's so funny because I like, when, when you ask that question, I go back to like when I was really young, like five or six, and I don't remember a lot of good stuff from that age. Yeah. And so then I'm like, ah, let me go a little bit further in life. And then I go all the way up to like when I was like 14 and skateboarding. Yeah. And so that's usually the time when I, when you think like, oh, I have favorite childhood memory. I'm trying to think of like when I was actually a child child and had good good memories. Yeah, yep, I just thought of some actually. I remember living in this farmhouse. Uh, we lived in this farmhouse in Columbia City and we used to go, uh, I actually just told this story to somebody else. I used to go into the cornfields because like, what's in Indiana? I'm like, corn. And so it's about making your own fun wherever you're at. Like that's the most fun people to be around too. And that's when I had the best time is when I'm making a situation that is seemingly not fun. You just make it fun, right? So we didn't have anything to do. We're out in the country. We're living in this old beat up house that we probably should not have been living in. And we just go out to the cornfields and then literally just like I'd go run, act like I'm like, uh, you know, in Troy or something like that. Like have a stick and just acting like I'm cutting stuff up. <laughs> and then I get lost in the middle of the cornfield. And I even enjoyed being lost. I was like, oh, this is so fun. <laughs> then you get out, you get to the edge. You're like, okay, that's this highway. So that means I got to go this direction because like you get all turned around and stuff in it. So that was one of my favorite memories. Just like, yeah, just hanging outside like uh, I got ticks and then also I was really allergic to pollen and so my eyes would get so swollen that I couldn't even open them but I was just like I just kept doing it anyway because I had so much fun and then I always got cut up from all the little leaves but yeah. dude that was fun we had a lot of good times and then I used to also make a lot of weapons out of wood so I'd make like swords and all this stuff I would shape them I would like you know use power tools and get them together and I was probably like 10 <laughs> and I was just like I was putting this stuff together I was like dude I'm gonna make a I made the cloud sword which was really heavy when I was young because like cloud if you guys know that guy is like his sword is super fat it's like this big well it's actually way bigger than that but the handle's small and so like the way that it's weighted and stuff is just crazy and then it's just like got a little angle on it if you guys, if you guys know anything about cloud, you'll know what I'm talking about, but it's pretty sick. And I made that when I was young and like just trying to swing it around and stuff. Um, but yeah, those are some of the fun things that I used to do when I was a kid, just to entertain myself. Like that's the thing too, is like, uh, when, when you don't have a whole lot of toys or anything, you just gotta, you gotta freaking make toys out of stuff. And like, yeah. that's what I did. It was a lot of fun. That's awesome. I feel like that's good though, as a kid to like learn how to like, oh, it's like my kids, like I try as much as I can to not let them just be on iPads and stuff. Yep. But like, yeah, that's good. We grew up in like a little bit different time. Yeah, 100%. So now I gotta like fix it up for them. You know, yep. Let them explore and yep. adventure. Yep. It's so fun. Now that you brought, now that I thought about that, I kind of miss it, dude. It was the simplicity too, dude. The yeah. simplicity of life back then. Yeah. And just like, all I was trying to do was entertain myself, <laughs> you know? Like, it's like, okay, what can I do for fun? And then now I'm like, okay, what can I do for fun, but then also impact and purpose and what God has for my life, but then also I want relationships. Then I gotta make a little bit of money too. Also, while I'm making money, I wanna make sure I'm giving back, make sure I'm fulfilling my spirituality. I also wanna be eating healthy, you know? I wanna make sure I'm working out. And so it's just like the amount of processing that goes through this brain. Instead of like when I was a kid, I'm like, all right, what can I do that's fun today? Yeah. That's like, I, I just wanna have fun. And like, that's the other thing too, is I still have that side of me. I'm like, dude, I just want to have fun. Like, I want to have fun. Like, I like yeah. to have fun too. And I actually, uh, I thought about that a lot. And we always think that it's like uh, fun or business. And I'm always like, okay, how can I get both? How can I have impact? But then we can still have fun. Like, 
That's something that I notice a lot of times with Christians, in my opinion. Christians are so focused on like doing the right things and being this person that they forget to enjoy life. They just like want to follow these rules. And it's almost like we become like the Pharisees and stuff where it's like we're so like having to follow that it's like dude it can still be fun it can be hard and you can still enjoy it you can be like you're serving your purpose and it's still fun like we can have both in life and i have to remind myself of that all the time because i do get too serious i do get too focused i get so focused on every expectation everything i'm going to do my purpose what i have where i'm going and i forget that i can do it all and still have fun while we're doing it so yeah anyway yeah sir. we're gonna have a good time buddy we're gonna have fun while we serve out the purpose that God has for our lives and we can enjoy it. Yes, sir. That boy got me talking. Yeah. Usually don't talk a whole lot when I'm talking to people, mm -hmm. but I don't know. It does seem like I'm getting more talkative lately. Again. You will just in general, because usually in a sales situation, I talk, you know, 20% of the time they're talking 80%. But then like whenever we're in the camera, I'm talking like 95% of the time. Yeah. You know? And so, and then like whenever I'm like doing the meetings, I feel like I'm talking a lot more in some sense, not when I'm leading because everybody's telling us what's going on and I'm more just asking questions and guiding. So I guess that's still less, but it just feels like I'm talking more lately than what I'm usually do. Or, or it's like I'm talking at somebody, not at, but like to somebody as opposed to like having a conversation with somebody. So that feels yeah. different. It is different. Yeah. You just keep it going and going and yes. not like listening or hearing back. Exactly. A little bit. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it's like. It's like, you know, there's not a whole lot of feedback. It's more of like, okay, you got to say something. You have to hope it resonates, hope it helps, hope it motivates. And then like, you don't really get a lot of feedback, you know? So yeah, I don't know. Anyway, pretty cool when you're speaking and somebody likes to hear what you're saying. That is, yeah. that is pretty cool. Yeah. Then you're like, okay, I have some value and yeah. I'm not just saying random words to people. Yeah. When people don't even like to hear you talk, it's like, that kind of sucks. Yeah. But that's okay too. Actually, yeah, it depends on the context when it's friends and stuff. And like, you know, there's some, I know you know people that there's certain people that you're talking to, you just kind of zone off because you're like, all right, you don't really care what they have to say. Yeah. Whereas like, I feel like that doesn't happen with the, the people that I'm around usually. They're like, oh, dang, like. Yeah, people want to hear what you have to say usually. Yeah. Except for the people on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube who comment bull crap who say, why'd you even post this? Other than you guys, my friends actually like to hear me talk sometimes. It's pretty nice. Yeah, <laughs> feels good. I, I like to hear them and they like to hear me and that's what a friendship is about. It's like, oh, we enjoy hearing each other talk and like having the conversations. Cash it's offer, baby. Reciprocal. Reciprocal. Both ways. Amen. We have a lot of conversations. Yep. Well, you're like, I'll you're like, oh, I don't know. Oh, that was day 29. Hopefully you liked it. Let us know if there's anything else you want to see, anything you want to hear. Let me know, dude. We're open to it. It's going to be a new scenery here soon. And then uh, if there's any questions you want answered, anything that you guys can think of that would be more entertaining, we can do freaking, we could do bike rides with Cody into Cody. We could do, uh, GoPro on and get yeah, that'd be so cool. We can do something different though, but let me know. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying it. Day 29. Peace.